Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be adding reCAPTCHA to our Drupal 7 site. So, uh, while you might know uh, reCAPTCHA as these annoying um, sort of entry boxes that you have to submit so that they know that you're not a robot or uh, that you're not trying to just um, spam through email boxes or anything, uh, the reCAPTCHA is actually a really noble uh, web service. So, what it's doing is it's providing two words, uh, one of which is randomly generated. The other one is actually from an old book that they're trying to digitize. And what you're doing is they're using this massive scale online collaboration to digitize books. And in fact, I would recommend going and watching this TED Talk. Um, it's actually really great. It's really interesting. And it'll make you want to use reCAPTCHA. Uh, it does a lot of good things. OK, so just like any module, we're going to click to download and we're going to uh, throw it into our modules folder. Okay, we're just going to put it into our modules folder, like so. Then we'll go back to our site, modules, and we're going to install it. Okay, and if you see here, it's actually saying it requires CAPTCHA. It's another module here. If we come back to here, uh, it's no problem. It's just this module CAPTCHA. Um, this allows you to use reCAPTCHA, CAPTCHA Pack, tech, any of these other modules. So we don't need any of those. We just want to use this reCAPTCHA. So I'm going to grab this beta and uh, actually, yeah, because it's the um, sort of latest release for Drupal 7, or at least the, um, well, it's not the development release. It's the latest release that's not a development. So we'll grab this. And again, we're just going to throw it into our modules folder like before so that we can install this. Let's refresh this. And we should see both of them showing up now under spam control. We can go to CAPTCHA. Um, I don't want image CAPTCHA. I want to use reCAPTCHA. Um, okay, cool. So let's save configuration. Okay, we now have those modules enabled and it pops up saying we can now configure the CAPTCHA module for the site. Okay, so this is the CAPTCHA configuration. You can see your default challenge type is set to math. I'm gonna change this to reCAPTCHA. And then we're going to actually need to find out what our form ID is. So to do that, you can actually, cause yours is going to be different. I'm just gonna go to our contact page and I actually want to just inspect this to see if it says so in the code. There's probably a different way to do this, but it's just here. It's a web form client form nine. I'm just going to copy this and in here in our captcha settings, I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here, but the actual ID, um, this is the ID that's assigned to it. The actual uh, form ID uses underscores here. So I'm going to go ahead and change these hyphens to underscores. Like I said, your form's gonna have a different name, so um, that's the only way I know that you could just be sure about what it is, what the ID is. And we're gonna select our challenge type to just be the default. And um, this add captcha uh, administrative links to form, this is means if you're like an admin, uh, will you see the captcha or not? Um, I'm just gonna leave that unchecked. I don't wanna see the captcha. I just want my users to see it. Um, any of these other settings, persistence, always add a challenge. Um, omit, read the default, select it to omit challenges in a multi-step preview workflow. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And I don't need to log wrong responses. I don't really care. But if you do, it'll throw them in the log and you can see if like a bot's trying to fill out your form 100 times or something. And uh, set to case, insensitive, save, configuration. Let's go to recapture over here. And here you need a private key and a public key registered at recapture.net. This is just so you can uh, jump in and enable everything. Um, I'll just select this. I'm not actually going to use this one, so don't don't try to steal my uh, my public and private key uh, because yeah, I'm I'm not going to keep this anyway. So um, let's create key. Okay, I got a public key and a private key. So public paste. And private, I'll paste this. Okay, and um, you can AJAX API secure connection. I'm gonna leave this be, save configuration. All right, so 
let's go to our contact form here and I don't think we should see this because I'm pretty sure that yeah uh, we have the administrative settings on so let's actually open this up in an incognito window so we're not logged in uh, we're not an admin we're just an average person visiting this website oops and as you can see the capture showing up um, if we wanted to show up on admin you just check that box that shows that says that it shows up for administrators but you know no big deal I don't need it to um, so this is working just like you've seen before um, and that way we can help uh, digitize these books and we can secure your site from spammers all at the same time. Cool. Well, that is how to add reCAPTCHA to your Drupal site. If you wanted to add any of these other CAPTCHA modules, that's totally cool. Um, you can do that as well. It's just as easy. You just download the other ones, follow the instructions. But I personally like reCAPTCHA the best uh, specifically for what it does. Like I said, check out this YouTube. Uh, video this massive scale online collaboration. It's really interesting. Good video. All right. Well, if you have any questions or comments, hit us up in the comments. Hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, we we'll always like to hear from you, just, you know, what you want to see and whatever. So, uh, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.